as you can see, this is running very smoothly on my old machine, and even the TV channels are working perfectly without any issues. So, if you also want to set it up as a dual boot, make sure to watch the full video and don't skip any of the steps, otherwise you might encounter some errors. So, let's get started. First of all, you'll need a few things, like a USB drive with at least 4 gigabytes of space, the ISO file, and Rufus Software version 3.2. I'll be providing the download links for both in the comments section. Next, we'll need to create a partition, for which I'll be using this tool. Make sure the partition you choose is completely empty and has at least 20 gigabytes of free space so that you can experience optimal performance. Here, I already have a partition created and I'll simply format it as ext4. After that, insert your pen drive and launch Rufus. Then, drag and drop the ISO file you have downloaded earlier into Rufus just like this. Finally, click on the start button and your USB drive will begin to turn bootable. Once the process is complete, restart your PC. And while it's restarting, keep pressing your boot key multiple times. Now, from the boot menu, select the USB option and boot from it. After that, you'll see an interface like this. Now, if you want, you can try the OS without installing it, meaning you can test it out. But remember, once you remove the pen drive, all the data will be lost. So instead, scroll down and choose this option, then select it to proceed with the installation. After that, you'll see an interface like this. Here, you need to choose the partition, Make sure to select the same one you formatted as ext4 earlier, then follow the exact same options that I'm selecting in the video. Once done, the system will start installing the files. After installation, a pop-up window will appear. Make sure to select the reboot option only. If you choose anything else, you might face problems with the boot menu not showing up properly. After that, a boot menu will appear, from where you can easily access your windows as well. But for now, I'll go ahead and launch Android TV. Once selected, the booting process will begin. So here, Android TV has been successfully installed, and as you can see, it's running very smoothly. Before I show you how to play TV channels on it, we first need to sign in with a Google account, otherwise it won't work properly. I've already logged in using my Google account, and as you can see, the Play Store is working perfectly. Now, before giving you a complete overview, let me directly show you live TV in action. For that, you'll need to download any one of these three apps. I already downloaded them earlier and saved them on my USB. After that, simply install the app, and if one doesn't work for you, you can try the other alternatives. I've already provided the links for all of them. As you can see, everything is working perfectly. All the channels are running smoothly, and I haven't encountered any kind of error. Overall, this OS is really impressive, and you should definitely give it a try if you want to experience live TV on your PC. However, if this one doesn't work for you, I've already made another video on a different OS. You can watch it by clicking the video on the left, and yes, I'll see you there.